crows made a racket. I think the male's back in the area. Yep, there's his call. She should be getting up. He brought breakfast. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. He flew back, that's why the crow made the sound. I just heard the tearsel go bick, bick. So he's letting her know he's back. And we'll see if she gets up off the eggs. It's a beautiful morning. 43 degrees. Maybe 45 now. And we're at our Cooper Hawk nest. And the Tearsel just flew in. So this could be our breakfast call. And sometimes he just gives her a break. And we'll come in a little bit more here. I see any movement in there. Woodpeckers are working this morning too. Sometimes it takes her a bit to get up. Especially this day in the morning because she's been on them all night. I'll zoom in a little bit more. We'll see. And in we go. Look at that. I'm gonna take over on the eggs now. Okay, get situated here. Having a shift change at the Cooper Hawk nest. I'm gonna say I know their sound and do that big call and zoom. We know he's in the area and give her a break. Getting up real easy. Don't want to hurt the eggs. Being very careful. They're due the hatch in about the 28th of this month. And that's our tearsel just came in and that's her getting up real easy off the eggs. And she's gonna readjust. Looked like he took off again, so. She said, I don't need a break yet. So he went off. Looks like that's her in there. Well, anyway, came by for a relief, so. That's what goes on at the Cooper Hawk nest. We offered to uh, relieve her, and obviously she refused it, unless they made the switch and that's him. But we'll figure that out on the big screen. I'm pretty sure that's still her in there. Okay. Well, you'll have to go catch something for breakfast then and do a little relief later. Well, that's what's going on at our Cooper Hawk nest this morning. We'll call that good for now then. And we'll wait and see if it uh, comes back with a snack here. 